A regular expression is a set of characters used to find patterns in a piece of text. They've existed since the early days of programming and are commonly used to validate data such as email addresses, phone numbers, or zip codes when filling out a form. Sounds easy enough, right? Well, not quite. Many developers hate regular expressions because they can get really complex and hard to read or understand. If this is you, don't worry, I'm going to break them down into very simple bite-sized chunks that will be so easy to digest you'll be pooping out patterns before you even know it. Bad reference. I'm Victor by the way, and I've been using regular expressions for a couple of years now, so here are some of the basic things you'll need to know to get started. First up is how to create a regular expression. Regular expressions are often created by placing the characters you want to match between two forward slashes, but in C-sharp, which we'll be using in this video, the characters are placed inside double quotes. The characters you put between the double quotes represent what pattern you want to match in a piece of text. Let's say you have a long paragraph talking about how to teach a dog to poop outside. Lots of references to feces today, but just go with it. And you want to check if a particular species like Doberman is mentioned. You'll write the word Doberman in between two double quotes and then store this pattern in a variable. Now that you know what you're looking for and have a pattern set up, the next thing you'll do is to create a regular expression object and pass the pattern as a first argument. If the programming language you're using supports regular expressions, there should be some equivalent regex class that contains all the properties and methods you need, so be sure to check the documentation for one. From the regex object you just created, type the isMatch method and pass the paragraph about dogs pooping outside as the argument. This method looks through the text for anything matching the word Doberman, and if such a word exists in the text, it returns true. If not, it returns false. Simple. If only Tinder's matching system worked this well, then I would be happily married with 12 kids and the proud owner of a dromedary camel to commemorate the dry spell I just went through. But why don't we take a look at all of this in action inside Visual Studio, eh? If you're not familiar with Visual Studio, I have a video walking you through all the features you need to get started and how to set up the console application we'll be using in this short demo. The link is at the top right of your screen. This part of the video also assumes you have some working knowledge about programming in general such as how to use strings, methods, booleans, etc. If not, I have a C-sharp beginner playlist also linked to the top right of your screen that should get you up to speed. First things first, let's create a string variable containing the short article about teaching dogs to let themselves out. I'm just going to paste some text to save time here. We'll call this variable article, but you can call it whatever you want. Next, let's create another string variable to store the pattern we're going to look for in the article. The string storing this pattern can either be a regular string or a verbatim string, but just go ahead and use a regular string for now. The next thing you'll do is to create a regex object. The regex class is in the system.text.regularExpressions namespace, so remember to add the using statement up top if you get an error. Finally, we'll use the isMatch method from this object to check if the article contains the word Doberman and store the result inside a variable. Let's log this result to the console and after running the application, you can see that the word Doberman exists in the article because your regular expression pattern found a match. But there's just one small problem with this pattern. If the first letter of the word Doberman is capitalized, you don't get a match. Take a look. How do you solve this then? You can add a second argument when creating the regex object specifying whether you want to match the pattern regardless of whether the letters are uppercase or lowercase. Other programming languages also have something similar to ignore the case of letters. For example, in JavaScript, you can add an i beside the last forward slash which accomplishes the same thing as what you've just done here in C Sharp. With this change, if you run the application, you can now see that you get a match. There are a couple of other options you can change according to your needs, such as if you want to check for the pattern on multiple lines, you can add the multi-line option. You can even specify to search the article from right to left instead of the default left to right. That's how Arabic is read by the way. I'd need some practice to get used to that, but if any of you can read the language then more power to you Habibi. Before I go on, you may have noticed your version of Visual Studio looks a bit different from mine and that's because I'm using a custom Sasuke theme made by yours truly. If you like this theme and want an upgrade from the boring default colors that come with Visual Studio, it's available on patreon.com forward slash height above sea level along with a couple of other goodies like advanced c -sharp lessons, game development vlogs and more. I also have a free membership tier you can join for exclusive videos and programming tips and tricks at no extra cost so I hope to see you there and thank you so much to those of you who do become patrons. Now that you know the word Doberman is present in the article, you can count how many times it's repeated using another simple method. Count. 
you first use the result to the isMatch method as a condition for an if statement, and then inside the code block, you'll use the count method on the article and pass it as the text you want to look through. Finally, you log this to the console. Awesome! If you manually count the word Doberman in the text, you can see that it is indeed mentioned four times. One last example you'll look at before we wrap up is how to replace words using regular expressions. This is also very straightforward and can be done in just one line of code using the replace method. For this example, you'll replace the word Doberman with Pitbull. I was gonna go with Mr. Worldwide, like he yells very loudly at the beginning of all his songs, but just Pitbull will do for now. So you'll pass the article as the first argument to the replace method, and the word you want to replace Doberman with as a second, then log this to the console. Perfect! A quick recap of everything we've covered so far. You now know that regular expressions are a set of characters used to find patterns in a piece of text. They can be used to check if a word exists in the text, and if yes, count how many times it occurs and, when necessary, replace that word with something else. There are many things you can do with regular expressions, some of which we'll explore in the upcoming videos in this series, but I hope this brief introduction to regular expressions gave you a better understanding of them and that mentioning those two words no longer leaves you trembling like a chihuahua at lunchtime. That's a lot for you guys. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Again, if you want to get my custom Sasuke theme for Visual Studio, that is available on patreon.com forward slash height above sea level. There's also a Discord server you can join, link in the description below. And I have a Twitch channel if you enjoy live streams and want a more interactive experience over on twitch.tv forward slash avatarfic. The next video in this series covers how to match special characters and even shows you a simple way to extract emails from text so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching and as always, from me to you, deuces.